Alright. The light's getting dim. The sun's kind of like behind a cloud, or clouds now in front of the sun and the angle. Everything else, just did dab in the video, I forgot to do it yesterday. Our last video, not yesterday, because I do usually two videos a day on the weekend or whatever. And it's kind of how my videos go, unless I have something cool to show. I'll do like three, or I'll do one in the weekday, possibly. I'll probably do a lot more coming up this Christmas type week, whatever. Anyway, I'll have to have it. So, the refined hermit situation I'm going to now, in five minutes, challenge myself and give the full input on Herm Edwards ready, set, go. Herm Edwards is a great coach. He's good. He's wise. He knows what he's doing. Well, he's not a great coach. He's not maybe the best replacement. Ray Anderson and in charge of Arizona State and that department, I think, the athletic, athletics department, unless he's just the president of the college or whatever. I don't know. I'm getting those two mixed up now. I'm on the train, by the way. I've been on the train. I'm born on the train. I'm a Tempe person. I live and grew up in Tempe. And blood roots are Tempe. Who remembers? I think is a wise. I think he's a little bit wiser than people think he is. I think he knows a little bit more than people think he does. And you know, you know, you look at even the. I want to say straight up, the Browns. We all know about the Browns. They're a terrible football team, right? But somehow, those guys got to the NFL. Think about that. Those guys got to the NFL. They're probably not in the right position to show off what they're truly capable of. But they got to the NFL. Herm Edwards got through the NFL, played in the NFL, coached, coached for a few years. He's 60 years old, so he knows a thing or two about life. You know, he's a wise man. He's a convincing type of speaker. He's a very emotional gathering type of speaker. You know, I'm gonna wake, go wake my mom up. She said she was napping different to like four. It's like four ten, so No. No. Mom said three more minutes and then okay. Mom told me to wake me up for a nap for her up for a nap at four. Anyway. Back to the video. Yeah. And I'm not gonna talk about the details. I'll just say this. At least just trust her members for a year. At least. Let's give him the solid year next year. Yeah, most of the same guys anyway. He's gonna recruit. He's gonna need to recruit at least ten people. Ten good quality players. Most of them in a defensive position. People like to tackle. In fact, what I would do is I would try to find some people. Apparently, we have like I've seen the ranking the wrestling team. I've seen the wrestling team do a little bit, like just 30 seconds maybe video. The number six in the nation wrestling team at Arizona State. I would get some of those guys and, and go say, hey, want to play linebacker? Arizona State's football team. <laughs> see, because wrestlers, see, they're the, the main goal of a wrestler, of a you know real wrestling, right, is to tackle you. Is they take the fundamental, the fundamental of tackles, and they work it. A fundamental of tack, fundamentals of tackles, and they work it. They breathe it. They live it. They do it. And they don't stop doing it. They never stop doing it. That's the only thing they do. Is tackling, taking someone to the ground, putting them on the ground, keeping them on the ground. In football, you don't keep them on the ground, but you get my point. 
they take them down as fast as possible. They put someone on the ground as fast as possible. <laughs> I think, honestly, every linebacker should have done wrestling for at least two years. That should just be the new new thing. If you haven't done wrestling for at least two years, you're not a linebacker or a D-lineman or heavyweight wrestlers. Anyway, this has gone a little bit over five minutes. All right, Edwards. Did I have a good job? No. I just hope he has a good job. Stop being so negative. Stop being so negative. You let some idiot run your country. Not an idiot. You let a basic dictator and definition somewhat run your country. Vote him in. Rock Mama for eight years. And he controlled, tried to control the U.S. people as much as possible in the way of government control. But yet, those of you who voted did not let Herm, cannot let Herm Edwards coach for one year. They're already trying to take him off. Like, what's the big deal? Don't blame Herm Edwards for something that was probably wronged by the managing position. But maybe that wasn't wrong by imagining the position. Maybe her members is good enough. Maybe her members is that guy, that special guy. Nationally known. Seems like he's good at what he does. He definitely he's a really good speaker. Like the way he works with his voice alone can lead men in the battle the hardest foe and take him out triumphant he could be like a war leader that guy is amazing now he could be a football team leader as well with the way he speaks you know there's actually let me just tell you straight up there's a lot of power in the way you speak there's a immense amount of power in the way you speak the way he speaks really gets to you in the how much power that guy has in his voice when he speaks. Now, I can understand why you're still upset that they fired Todd Graham after he had a winning season going to the bowl game, beat the rival, knocked off number five in the nation. I'm not very happy that that happened. But you know what? It happened. So now you have to be quiet about it. I have to let it happen. Honestly, Bobby Hurley, have you seen that basketball team lately? Have you seen that basketball team lately? Oh, have you seen that basketball team lately? I'm going to say it again. Because, because you know, thinking in your head, have you seen Bobby Hurley's basketball team at Arizona State lately? Just check out what they've been doing lately. I told you last video. I don't need to tell you again. The train. I want to keep on saying that. I like the train. I like the metaphorical speech of the train. I like the idea of the train. See, and you know who? Do you know who made that decision to put Barbara Hurley on Arizona State's basketball team? Yeah, Ray Anderson did. Same guy who chose Herm Edwards as the head coach of the football team. Or, if it was not Ray Anderson, then the, the, the athletics director, which I believe is Ray Anderson, I could get, I could be getting the president mixed up with the athletics director, but whoever the athletics director is, which I believe is Ray Anderson, he made this, he made his decision that Herm Edwards will be the leader of Arizona State's football team. I'm signing out because you know, just give him one here. That's all I have to say. That's my bottom line. Deal with it. He coached. He's been coaching. He's going to coach. He knows how to coach. It's pretty obvious because he's done it in the NFL. Just let him do it. Just let him do his job. Let him do his job. Next year, and if the results are bad, 
whatever. I think actually even if they are bad, they are eventually will be good. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, sorry, I was outside. Ah. Uh.